Welcome to Analytics with Nax. In this video, I'm going to talk about export options in Power BI. In export, you have export a report or export a data. There are two options available in Power BI and it is very uh, uh, easy to distinguish between them once you understand what is exporting as a report or a data. Let's try to see what is a exporting as a report. Basically, you have this option export to PDF. Uh, Power BI template is something different that I cover as a separate video. Once you have built a report multiple pages, you can export the entire uh, report in a PDF format. That is exporting a report. Then there is option called data with current layout, summarized data, underlying data in export data option. What are those in what scenarios you'll use? Let's try to understand as part of this video. This channel contains a free content that covers MSBI, Power BI and fundamentals of Azure. Please utilize this free content. Share this channel with your friends and colleagues. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button, bell icon for notification. Let's begin. So I am in Power BI now. Let's say like you have uh, all the pages here, right? Let's delete uh, un unnecessary pages. Sales, sales details, you have uh, one chart here and another empty page over here let's delete this too so now we have three page report over here you can have multiple pages as much you can so now you can see this is a report the entire three pages are considered as a report so once you want to save this report somewhere as on that particular date as a image or a pdf right then that is called exporting as a report for that you need to go to export and export to pdf what it does it is generating a pdf for my report how many pages it contains those many pages it may be created as a image what it does it doesn't do any of the data copy whatever you are seeing as part of uh, the screens right you are seeing just a snapshot in your visual at that time it take a screenshot and put it as a images in your pdf document that is what it does you can see this is just a pdf file this is all about exporting a report the same thing you can do it in your uh, services as well if you log on to uh, your reports over here there is option here export to pdf services have more option than the uh, local version where if you click on it you can see export with default values export with current values exclude hidden report tabs only report export current page meaning you can have only export only single page whereas in desktop you have uh, exported everything here you have option to export only current page let me try only current page so that you will have only single page to be viewed So I'm just exporting this right now. That will be uh, taking a few seconds. So you can see uh, many pages here. Uh, I didn't publish right. So all the old pages also exist. So this will export only our current page. Let it take. Uh, let's move on to another. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see this one. Uh, has created only the current page see this is the exported one whereas the previous one exported from local has a three pages here we have only one page where I can't able to move to another page here this is the another file this is all about export as a report now let's try to discuss what is export data for that let me move back to our power bi desktop right now I'm in power bi desktop now now export data you have based on the different visuals this will appear slightly different uh, now let's head out to our uh, now we are in desktop export data we will focus on this visual let's try to write uh, click on the three dots on top of this visual then export data what it does is in our desktop it will always give me the csv data okay let's try to understand uh, what is this data is data underscore export i am deploying it here i mean i'm storing it here let's try to check it out 
what was that data is export data this is the csv file right So here it gives me whatever columns used in this visual as a whole. Let me show you whatever columns we have. We have category name and location and this is four columns here. Let me expand the visuals. You can see category name, location, product name, order type, quantity. There are five columns in this visual. So those five columns, right, A, B, C, D, E are uh, given as your uh, output that is the exported data meaning or uh, whatever at the uh, aggregated level all to this aggregated level right that is given as your data over here this is all about export data so this is the option available in your desktop where I did I showed you initially in my PPT there is option called uh, data with current layout summary these options will be available only in your services let's move back to the services now I have this visual let's try to understand that export data option uh, for these three right now it says like data with current layout the it actually does the description meaning whatever layout you are seeing here like Chennai Bangalore right and one important thing I want to highlight let me edit it slight a bit let's see Hyderabad data is not expanded only Chennai data is expanded so let me export the data data with current layout I'm exporting this now this will give me exactly it does so now you can see I'm opening the file only the Chennai data is expanded with the layout layout is Chennai and you can see how it has been split right so that layout I got it the Hyderabad data is not expanded this is what the current layout will do now let's move on to uh, second option summarize data as soon as you click on this there are this file format also will be enabled when you see here this is not enabled this is uh, just how you can able to see there is no further option when you click on summarize data there are further three more options available and you also have the some data limits as well now here is the catch Excel has a limitation of um, 150 thousands and CSV has a limitation of 30,000 row max there are some cases we need to work on the rows that has more than I mean, when you export the data we need more than 150,000 so usually what we can do is you can use the Excel with the live connection okay that option before going to this let's try to see uh, what appears for XLX here let me click on this 150 row max meaning summarize data export the summarized data used to create your visual whatever summarized data used to create the visual what we are seeing those will be exported let me show this one right now let's close this uh, data export excel that is creating confusion so now I open the uh, location product and harder quantity enable editing so here we have only uh, one two three and uh, order type and sum of quantity let's see here what are those uh, visuals available meaning we have one two three four in this um, visual uh, we have used only four columns right whereas in desktop I have used the additional column the category name also okay that's why we got so in desktop whatever export option we see that is nothing but the summarized data uh, that second option export data summarized data with the export row max this is the option we got it in the desktop now csv is similar instead of xls it will do the cls uh, 
what about this xlsx right let's try to understand what this option is when you do this export it will have a live connection to your power bi desktop file i mean power bi files in the services so excel is in your local and it will create one connection right right now you can't see any data and it says like data connected to power bi click refresh to update enable editing enable editing and it will authenticate for the users just uh, provide your credential then you are good to go once it is authenticated now you got the live data same like that you still got the live data over here and whenever there is a data updated you can have a refresh here that will have the latest data from your power bi to your excel in the previous option we have choose it is the one time export like export data with the summarized there is no connection as it said once it exported when your power bi data uh, updated that will not have the latest data where it has a live connection this is very good for your analysis when you uh, connected to your power bi desktop you are comparing your reports or you are computing some other calculation this will be the best option for you let's try to understand the last option here which is the underlying data what it does is along with this uh, data it will go to the fact table columns as well uh, whatever uh, defined as a fact table here those columns also will be exported again this is not a live data it is one time export now you can see the location product order quantity receipt number customer receipt number sale date are not part of that visual but along with that you will also get the uh, other data information here uh, how can uh, uh, it gets the underlying data it's based on the columns that used in this sales table and it brings me receipt number sale date as well whether if i use some other dimension let's say this particular model uses the customer uh, is related sales and customer let me show it to you i am opening this data model in my services let me show the relationship so that you will understand what that underlying data means whether it includes only the fact table or the dimension table now this is the data model sales now this is related to i mean product is related as well as customer okay when you do the export it is giving me all the data in the fact table because all the columns over here in the visual is from the fact table that is what my assumption now when i introduce the gender column in my visual whether it will also include all the columns data in the customer or not that's what we are going to check guess your answer right now and let's try to understand comment below for, uh, as a guess whether it will uh, provide me uh, even you do the underlying data export as well uh, from when i use the customer uh, dimension it will include the dimension data yes or no yeah now uh, let me introduce gender here as part of the columns now it introduce the genders right now i can expand uh, this one as well now i get female and um, male now when i do the export and underlying data also export the raw data used to calculate the data in your visual so the raw data includes sales as well as customer or only sales let's try to check it out so now i introduce the gender i got only the gender field over here i'm not getting any other data from the uh, customer dimension only underlying data means fact table records that is why it is very important you set which one as a fact table meaning like you need to filter the star schema all these things are matters when you work with the power bi meaning like why you you are saying very strict star schema fact will 
act as different parameters for lot of other options so underlying data means only fact table not the dimension related attributes i hope uh, you understand uh, what are the different ways you can export uh, in power bi and uh, based on uh, different requirement it can be a report using a export pdf option and we have detailedly looked at what are these options as well if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries do remember that data is your asset